Hey, how's it going? I know it's been a minute since I put a video on. Uh, it's fall here. You can see the corn behind me. They're gonna cut this corn any day now. My garden behind me is pretty much done. If you guys have been following my channel for any amount of time, you know that I plan on switching our chicken coop, our chicken yard, uh, every couple years with our food garden, back and forth, back and forth. And this is the year that the chicken coop, they're, the mobile chicken coop is gonna get moved around here and this is gonna get fenced in and the chickens and ducks and everything we got going on is gonna get moved to this food garden and then they can have their way with the rest of the vegetables for the rest of the year. And then they'll be here for another year or two. And then next year, the portion where they have been is gonna be tilled and that's gonna be the food garden. One of my like six gardens that I have. <laughs> I'm getting ready to put fencing around this part of the garden so that we can put the chicken coops over here and move them all over here for the winter. I love doing the YouTube videos and interacting with you guys on here, but if you've noticed, I haven't commented much on your stuff, on anybody's, um, just haven't been very active on YouTube lately. And the reason is I've been super busy here. Me and Cora both work full time and I do landscape for a living. Uh, I work at a plant nursery. It's, it's a lot of work but also running this tiny little homestead um, and trying to grow so many things and just do so many experiments. And that's just a hobby on the side, on top of working, raising a family. We kind of did a tally the other day, or I did. Um, and I don't have an exact count or number. Uh, I've kind of lost track. But I am currently growing, propagating, you know, and caring for over 120 different kinds of plants on this property. So here's our 40 by 40 chicken coop enclosure and we got all the ducks and chickens now uh, All the chickens that we saved we saved a couple of roosters There's cranky Frankie our guard goose They're all super healthy. They're all starting to lay eggs. The ducks are starting to lay eggs. It's pretty awesome time for them They've depleted this area. It's time for to move them to this area and fence this off and let them have at this for the season for the winter and then this will be the garden next year. We'll let it winter over and then we'll till this in and it should be a really rich, nice food garden next year. There are many times when projects like this would just be easier to do by myself or just with Cora, but I always try to involve the whole family whenever I can, and I believe that there's good reason for that. It helps to teach the boys many skills that they otherwise would never pick up. But it's not only a teaching lesson, it also brings our family closer together. It gives every member of the family a sense of pride and ownership of the property and of the animals and everything we're doing. It gives the boys a sense of self-reliance and independence. It helps to produce a can-do attitude, which is exactly what I'm trying to instill on my children, as well as keep alive in myself. The relationship with this land building as a family truly enhances our relationship with each other. Right. 
at times it can be very frustrating, but I know wholeheartedly that it is well worth it to even have the freedom and ability to work towards what we are working towards is a true blessing.